All right, welcome to my tutorial. My name is Demetrius, and today I will be showing you how to use the AV Foundation framework to interact with your camera device and show you a preview of what your camera is currently seeing. Uh, this tutorial is going to be comprised into three lessons. This lesson is just going to be setting up the graphical user interface and the properties and the um, action methods. And then the second tutorial is going to dive more into the preview layer part. And then the third tutorial, I'm actually going to show you how to capture a still image from that preview. Okay, so jumping right into it with Xcode. I have everything for the graphical already set up, and it's just, just to save some time. All right, and just kind of explain what I have here. I have a, the window, I have a custom view, which is NS view right here, your bottom right, just gonna be a custom view, okay? And then also right here, I have three buttons. Uh, you would just type in NS button. Okay, you can use a push button, a gradient, and just make sure, if you're not seeing this stuff, just make sure you have this, the object library um, selected here, okay? And then also here, what you don't see that is currently outlined right here, is your NS image view. Okay, so NS image view. All right, and then you can select and drag that and make that symmetrical to your custom view. Okay, so those, those are the only five elements that I have in my form. So if you wanna go ahead and pause the video and get that all set up, okay? And once you do, let's go ahead, we're gonna to have to add two classes to our project. All right, the first class is are going to be our view controller, okay? So OSX Coco class, we're going to call this video view controller, and this is going to be subclass from the NS view controller class, and we don't need to create a nib file, okay? We need to add one more class, and that is going to be Coco class as well. We'll call this custom view. Uh, let's well we can call it yeah custom view is fine just for simplicity and then subclass of NS view okay all right so coming up here all right so now that we have our two classes let's go ahead and come back to our nib file all right so now that we have our class our view con our video view controller class uh, we need to create an object that we can actually physically work with okay so right here at the bottom right hand side we'll call NS view controller all right and that'll come up with this right here just go ahead and drag that over just click and drag go ahead and place it right there you can place it right under your font manager all right so now that we need now we need to link these two so go ahead and have it selected right here to your, your um, top right hand side there could be a little postcard icon it looks like go ahead and click that right under the custom class section just type in video view controller okay all right so let's go ahead and come back to our view controller header file okay now we need to create some properties and some action methods for our objects okay so before we get into that let's go ahead and import our AV foundation and then also our custom view header file all right, this has already um, been added to the project, but if you get to a point to where you start it up and this is not automatically available for you, go ahead and come back here to the, directly to the top, okay, and see these linked f f frameworks and libraries. Let's go ahead and click this little plus sign, type in AV, and it should be the first one right there on your list, and you just go ahead and click add. And I'll go ahead and do the same, Not like it's not gonna make a difference. And see you'll hear, See here you have all the header files, okay? All right, but you don't need to link those individually, just use the AV Foundation, the framework tag. All right, so coming back here, now that we have our custom view header file imported, let's go ahead and create a reference. All right, and this is gonna be custom view, we'll call this custom view one. Also, we need to create a reference or an instance for our uh, three buttons. It's going to be IB outlet and then NS button. Um, start preview button and same for the other two. Stop preview button. Okay, 
a picture button. All right, and then also we need to create one for our NS image view. We'll call this image view one. Okay, so now we have one for a custom view. Um, that's not going to be an outlet, uh, but the button, the three buttons will be, and also the image view. Okay. All right, so now that we have our interface builder outlets for our buttons and our image view, now we need to create action methods. And obviously, we're going to use ID action. We're going to say start, preview, click, ID sender from the button, obviously. ID action, stop, preview, click, ID sender, and then ID action for the third button. Picture, click, ID, sender. All right, so now that we have, let's see our buttons, we have our action methods. Okay, we got our custom view referenced. All right, so let's go and come back here to our nib file. Okay, so you have your object here, and this is how what I meant by physically interacting with that class. Okay, so go ahead and control click from your video view control controller, go into your start preview, and then here you'll see your start preview button. All right, and do the same for the other, click and drag, stop preview button, click and drag, take picture button. Okay, now this next process is just going to be vice versa, starting from the button to the object, start preview, control click, start preview click, control click, stop preview click, and control click, take picture click okay and if you come from a uh, maybe a windows based operating system and you use visual studio and um, I, I've used C sharp quite a bit in the past and these click events these events that we're actually assigning to each other now they were automatically generated and I mean you could customize events but in that in that um, IDE it was custom so this is what we're actually doing in that sense right there all right, so now that we have everything linked together, let's go and do the same thing for our NS image view, image view one. All right, so everything's linked physically right here to our con view controller class. All right, here in our custom custom view, um, when you run your program, you're not going to see it because it doesn't have any predefined um, appearance attributes assigned to it, and that's and we're actually going to do a little customization right now. But go ahead and click on your form right here. Okay, it might look like this, it might look like this. It's the same thing. This is a little more de detail oriented. And you can do the same thing by clicking here or clicking there. And then come over here to the top right hand side. I have a little ruler out your attribute. All right, I like to uh, apply constraints to my window of the minimum and maximum size just so I know it's going to be the right size. And also the initial, initial position. Uh, you can center horizontally and vertically. Okay, I'm just going to do proportional, proportional, and just for the sake of this tutorial, you can move it around. Okay. All right, so coming back to our custom view, we're going to use the implementation file, okay, and the draw rectangle event. All right. All right, we'll be using CG, uh, the CG context. All right, so just go ahead and follow along. Context rev context and it's graphics context current context and then grab the graphics port. All right, that's the first line. Got it. All right, CG. Now we're gonna set the fill color. Context and then now I'm just gonna do a black background with a um, alpha value of 50 percent. So that'll be R G B and the alpha value 50 percent would be. 0 0.50, exactly. You're a genius. Moving forward, CG. Now we need to fill the rectangle. Okay, so we're going to go say CG context fill rectangle or rect. Grab the instance you created created above. All right, and now we're going to. This is the rectangle that was passed to us. It comes in as an NS rect, and we're going to because we're using this, we're going to have to convert it to a CG rect. And to do that, you just type NS rect to CG rect, and then just use the um, argument that was passed there, dirty rect. All right, now let's go ahead and add a um, 
a border so that'd be two properties that'd be the border color and the border width and it's a little a little simpler so self dot layer dot border color I'm gonna use NS color and I'm gonna use a white color and then convert it to CG color okay and also for the border width self dot layer we do border width I'm use a floating point value of two all right so now that that's all set up and done, let's come back here to our view con video view controller implementation file. Okay. All right. So this is just a warning saying that we haven't implemented any of our methods or our action methods previously, as you can see here. See? All right, but we'll get to that. All right, so here... We're going to use the instance we created in our header file, self.customView1 equals custom view, allocate, and then initialize with frame. We're going to say self.view.bounds. I'm going to get here to this right here, here in a second. I probably should have done it before, but I didn't. Um, all right, so moving forward, one the, um, thing that we're going to have to set, one, to see the border on the... Um, the custom view and also when we get to the preview layer this is something that's going to have to be set as well so we can just go ahead and do it now we're going to say self dot view dot set once layer you have to set that to yes okay very important guys uh, when I first learned this a while back I, I literally just did not put that in had everything else right and it would just not work alright so moving forward let's go ahead and add the view to our sub views for our main view, okay? And this is gonna be self.customView1. All right, so we initialized custom view, set the set the once layer property, and then added this view to our main view, okay? So coming back here to our NIP file, sorry. Okay, so go ahead and right here, go ahead and grab your video view controller. There is a um, attribute here called view. This is unassigned. So when we access self.view, it, it, currently at this time it's not accessing anything because we haven't assigned it to anything. So that's what we're actually going to do here. So control click from the video view controller object to your custom view. You're going to have two options. Just go and select view. And then as you can see here, now it is referencing the custom view. So when we come back here, we say um, initialize with frame self.view the bounds it's typical in turn it's going to be the dimension dimensions of this custom view and then also the same thing when we add or when we set the once layer property we're setting it from that and then also when we add this custom view object initially we're just adding it inside this custom view all right so moving forward let's make sure that we have everything we have our custom view our um, outlets to our buttons, our outlet to our NS image view, and then also our action methods for the start, stop, and take picture buttons. All right, got our custom view. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and run it and see what we come up with. All right, beautiful. So as you can see right here, the custom view it looks it looks like a dark gray color. And actually, I used the black background, but I did the um, alpha value of 50%. So it's kind of it's loosened, it's clear, a little 50%. Uh, clear and then also with the white border and also our three buttons Okay, and then you can't see our image view. That's okay. If you want to do a customization on it, you can I'm not going to all right So moving forward so that looks like that taking took care of our, our graphical user interface and then hopefully I'll see you in the next video